is the Norcol DC558. Oh, nice this idea. is, we're, we're working on solutions in the compressor fridge space. We've had a ton of customer requests for compressor fridges. Uh, this one in particular is a current solution that replaces our builds where we use the five cubic foot Dometic three-way. Yeah. Right? So essentially at the moment, that's typically the 19. It can be the bigger trailers yeah. upon request. Um, we are trying to bring in other compressor fridges. It's a little bit challenging given the supply shortages in the industry right now, though. This looks, it's pretty deep, this one. It is. So this, it's, it fits in the cavity for the standard five cubic foot Dometic, but yeah. it is a five and a half. And that's really because there's just less gear on the back. There's oh. little, it's missing the burner. Right. It's missing a the whole, whole heat exchanger system. system is gone. Exactly. Yeah. So it has some advantages there. Yeah. Um, just a quick, quick overview of compressor fridges. They operate much like a fridge in your house where there's literally a compressor in there. They, this one particularly uh, only operates off of DC power, uh, electric power. Uh, some of the other models will operate AC, DC. And mm -hmm. you know, again, we're looking at all that. Uh, but they, when you are operating on electricity, they offer, uh, I think about, four, four and a half times the efficiency. So you'll use four and a half times less power uh, while using this. So this might be a really good use case for uh, people who do extended boondocking, who want those their LP tanks, their propane tanks to stretch through for a long time. Maybe they have big batteries and extensive solar systems. Or it kind of potentially couples up really well with, with the lithium, with yeah. the whole lithium, with the whole lithium offering and lithium solution. So, so very, very, very efficient. And the second use case might be we get a lot of high altitude campers requesting mm. our compressor fridges because they don't have any of the burner issues that can be associated with with your camping at eight or ten thousand. Worried about oxygen. Yeah.